Good morning, Wooden. I'm Sophie. And I'm Katie. Today is Tuesday, March 11th, 2014, and these are your morning announcements, brought to you by the SDA and the TV Internship Program. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The SAT word of the day is nuance. Do you know what it means? The Marines will be in the cafeteria during all three lunch periods tomorrow, Wednesday, March 12th, for students that would like more information. Please stop by to learn more. Want to help our, our returning soldiers and their families? The NHS is selling cookie dough during lunches this week. Profits will go to Healing Heroes and Wounded Warriors through our local branch of AMBEST. Please buy your cookie dough this week from an NHS member at lunch or, or in school or see Ms. Cresham. This is an easy and delicious way to help support our soldiers. Come to Coffee House! All students, you are reminded that in order to purchase breakfast or lunch from the school cafeteria, you must do an ID card. If you had one and lost it, your placement card is five dollars, and you will need to go to the financial office to pay the fee before going to security to get your new card. Please contact the cafeteria manager if you have any questions regarding this MCPS policy. Attention all students, this is a reminder that you are not permitted to eat on the second floor during lunchtime unless you are seeing a specific teacher. This is to limit interruptions to the classes that are going on during periods 4, 5, and 6. Please le limit your eating area and socializing area to the commons and cafeteria. Thank you. Now to our freshman Mama Lucia fundraiser. Attention all NHS members, the next NHS meeting is after school on Thursday the 13th in the cafeteria. All cookie dough forms are due for Healing Heroes. NHS meeting after school on Thursday the 13th, cookie dough forms due, be there. Tomorrow, Wednesday, March 12th, 2014, the cafeteria will have freshly prepared burritos, salads, or rice bowls available for purchase during each of the three lunch periods. All items are made to order with your choice of fillings and toppings. And now to an NHS cookie dough video. G starts with C. Let's think of other things that start with C. Uh, ah, who cares about other things? C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Oh, C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie. Attention 11th and 12th graders who are interested in earning community service hours and making a difference in the lives of young middle school students. Community service hours are available for students who are selected to accompany Robert Frost Middle School 6th grade outdoor ed trip the week of April 7th. Please be sure that you can balance your academic responsibilities with your absences from classes since you'll be gone for three days. 
If you're interested, there will be an informational meeting Tuesday, March 11th at 3 p.m. at Frost in room 214. The Sam Williams Foundation is sponsoring the first annual Be True 5K in remembrance of Sam Williams. The race will be held on Saturday, March 20th at 10.30 a.m., starting at the Ruin High School track. This will be a festival-style event with fun for the whole family. Get ready for a Friends Honor Society Tree Burger fundraiser. Happy birthday, Cameron Walkup. We hope you have a great day. The SAT word of the day was nuance, meaning something subtle, a fine shade of meaning. The quote of the day is, there's a world of difference between truth and fact. Fact can obscure the truth. Mary Angelo. Please remember to walk wise and drive wise. Stay classy, Budin, and have a great day. And now to a Women's History Month video. Women History Month. Celebrate the ladies who enhance the world. Sacagawea was a resourceful and resolute guide and interpreter for Lewis and Clark in the 19th century. She opened up all of Western America and allowed our country to expand. Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton campaigned for gender equality and fought for women's suffrage. They started a nationwide movement for equality in voting. Maya Angelou's cultural importance stems from her being a poet historian, an author, a civil rights activist, a producer, and a director. She composed and read verse at the Clinton inauguration in 1993. Rachel Carson is author of lucidly written books on ecological themes. She is most famous for Silent Spring, a critical examination of chemical pesticides. Shirley Chisholm is a Democrat who became the first black woman to run for presidency in a major party in 1972. She was the first black woman elected to Congress in 1968. 